Good day to you, my dear brothers and sisters. I welcome you all to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is April 30, Friday of the fourth week of Easter. But before we go to the Mass, I would like to invite you to pray with us the Chaplet of the Divine Mercy. Grace is received by recitation of the Chaplet of Divine Mercy. Our Lord said to the servant of God, Saint Faustina, unceasingly recite this chaplet that I have taught you. Whoever will recite it will receive great mercy at the hour of death. Priests will recommend it to sinners as a last hope of salvation. Even the most hardened sinner, if he recites this chaplet even once, will receive grace from my infinite mercy. Oh, what great graces I will grant souls who will recite this chaplet. By means of it, you can ask and obtain anything if what you ask for will be compatible with my will. I want the whole world to know my infinite mercy. I want to give unimaginable graces to those who trust in my mercy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O, o blood and, and water, which gushed forth from, from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. 
For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen. Jesus, King of mercy, I trust in you. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult times, in moments, we might not despair nor become despondent, 
but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Prayer for Divine Mercy O greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, today all mankind calls out from the abyss of its misery to your mercy, to your compassion, O God. And it is with its mighty voice of misery that it cries out. Gracious God, do not reject the prayer of this earth's exiles. O Lord, goodness beyond our understanding, who are acquainted with our misery through and through, and know that by our own power we cannot ascend to you, we implore you, anticipate us with your grace, and keep on increasing your mercy in us, that we may faithfully do your holy will all through our life and at the hour of death. Let the omnipotence of your mercy shield us from the darts of our salvation's enemies, that we may with confidence as your children await your final coming, that they known to you alone. And we expect to obtain everything promised us by Jesus in spite of all our wretchedness, for Jesus is our hope through his merciful heart as through an open gate we pass through to heaven. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank our prayer partner for today, Sister Mildred Heron. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our Mass for today is also the Thanksgiving offering of Tate Godoy and Nani Medi Sandoval, Moises and Laura Evangelista and family. We continue to pray for the special intentions of all the members of the PGG service team, Hertani Dermayer, Florentino Aguado, and Amy Alcaide. We continue to pray for the complete healing and recovery of Rachel Ann Valino Sumpit, Virginia Santos Navarro, Andrew San Venaventura, Malu Navarro, Lisa Manalo, Rosita Villanueva, Robin Jimenez, Candy San Juan, Susan Buendia, Marion and Ronaldo Jimenez, Roman Castuba, Maria Cecilia Natividad, Gina Holgado, Darwin Jaime, Pamela Jaime, Raquel and Claudine Salonga, Marion Jimenez, Soledad Ramos, Margot, Goldwyn and Matthew Alviar, Angie and Enrico Arciaga, and Rizalina Bernardo. And we remember our beloved dead, Ligaya, fifth day, Mimo, fifth day, and Conrado, eighth day. May they all rest in peace. Dear brothers and sisters, in the synagogue, Paul proclaims the risen Christ, that Christ is risen not merely as an important event of the past. It is, as Paul says, a message of salvation meant for you. We have come here to tell you the good news. It is meant for us today. What is our task and mission of all the Christians in the world today? to proclaim the good news that Christ is risen and is alive among us, to do what Christ did, to be Christ to one another and to the world. For we are God's priestly and missionary people. We do not stand alone in this task, for the living Christ is with us today as our way, our truth, and our life. We prepare ourselves for the coming of Jesus in our midst, in his word, and in his body and blood. Our gospel antiphone, uh, our entrance antiphone. You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood from every tribe and tongue and people and nation, and have made us into a kingdom, priests for our God. Alleluia. We are gathered in the name of God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all.
to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. We ask the Lord for pardon and strength as we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have gravely sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, your Son Jesus Christ is to us the way that leads to you and to one another, the truth that is good news of love and hope, the life which he sacrificed to give it to us. Help us to show the way to him and to go his way to one another, to speak the truth that is encouraging and credible, to give life by sharing happiness through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. When Paul came to Antioch in Pisidia, he said in the synagogue, My brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him, and by condemning him, they fulfilled the oracles of the prophets that are read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death. And when they accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are now his witnesses before the people. We ourselves are proclaiming this good news to you, that what God promised our fathers, he has brought to fulfillment for us, their children, by raising up Jesus, as it is written in the second psalm, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Let our response be, You, you are, are my son, son. This, this day I have, have begotten you. you. I myself, have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. You, you are, are my son. son. This, this day, day I, I have begotten, begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. And now, O kings, give heed. Take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him. With trembling rejoice. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. May we all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father 
except through me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you're going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To be in trouble is part and parcel of our everyday lives. And to have a troubled heart, we have not only for the unexpected bad things that are happening to us, but even for the good unexpected things happening to us. Because sometimes these things present a challenge to the set of ways of living and doing and thinking of things. Para bang dahil dito sa dumating na to, nababago, nacha-challenge yung ating uri ng pag-iisip, yung ating pananaw sa buhay, no? And we are troubled, no? May ano bang troubled? Agam-agam. <laughs> May agam-agam sa puso. And it's not also a very good feeling. But even if it's something that is good, sometimes uh, meron pa rin agam-agam because we do not know how it will end. I can I can Imagine that Mother Mary was also having a troubled heart when the angel appeared to her because it was so sudden. It's a good news, definitely, but its consequences in her life, it's not yet coming to her fully, and therefore she is troubled. And even these events after the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, no? the troubled hearts of the women seeing the empty tomb, the troubled hearts of the two men in Emmaus, the troubled heart of the, uh, of the eleven waiting in the room, I mean, you know, the, the list is long. And in the first reading, the troubled hearts of those people believe, uh, listening to, to, to Peter and, and Paul, still because they cannot grasp the whole idea of the resurrection of the Lord. And that's why in the first reading, again, a kind of reviewing of what happened to Jesus, as was told already from Paul, no? from Paul's point of view, who was before uh, uh, a persecutor of the Christians and the church. And so, the troubles, no? Jesus in today's gospel is telling us, do not let your hearts be troubled. It's a very consoling. Pwede mo sabihin, Lord, eh, andali mo sabihin yan. <laughs> but it's something that is hard to, to be done and hard to experience. And, but still, no, do not let your hearts be troubled. I am here for you. I am, will comfort you. I know things that are happening. No? Alam ko lahat yung nangyayari. Eh, so trust me. And that this should be our response to the troubled hearts that we have, to simply trust God. Because He knows. Why? He's the way. <laughs> He's the truth. He is life. He will not lead us to death. As the way, He is not going to, to, to lead us to another way. He is the way. And He is not going to give us to falsity and false news. He is the truth. And He is life. Life is what He wants to give us, not death, not suffering. These are all consequences of our wrong decisions, whatever, but not really from God, because what God wants is life for all of us. And so just for today, think about it. Are you troubled? Maybe your heart is looking for God. And so look at it in a positive way that God is calling you. God is touching you. God is uh, trying to come into your heart. That's why that heart is troubled. So that Jesus, who is the way, truth, and life, can appease you and can remove the troubles of your heart. Amen. Pinagkakalooban ng Diyos ng buhay na walang hanggan ang mga tupang kabilang sa kanyang kawan. Manalangin tayo sa Ama, taglay ang pagtitiwala na hindi tayo mawawalay sa kanyang pangangalaga. Dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Panginoon, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang Santo Papa, 
ang pastol na hinirang ng Diyos, naway gabayan tayo sa matuwid na daan, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang mga mananampalatayang kristyano, naway maging iisang kawan na nasa pangangalaga ng isang pastol, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang mga kabataan, naway magkaroon ng buhay at lubos na magkaroon nito sa pamamagitan ng katapatan sa mabuting pastol, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang mga may sakit at mga nagdurusa, naway magtiwala kay Jesus, ang mabuting pastol, na dumating upang iligtas ang mga nawawalang tupa, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang mga yumao, naway makapasok sa pintuan ng kulungan ng mga tupa at magdiwang kasama ng pastol at bantay ng kanilang mga kaluluwa. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Sa katahimikan ng ating puso ay itaas natin sa Panginoon ang mga pamisa ngayong araw na ito, gayon din ang ating mga pansariling kahilingan. Ama naming nasa langit, dinggin mo ang aming mga panalangin. Pagpalain mo ang bawat isa sa amin sa paraang ikaw ang higit na nakababatid. Hinihiling namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Kristong aming Panginoon. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. May the mingling of this water and wine bring us to the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us the cup of joy. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that we and our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord our God, your Son Jesus showed us that He is the way, the truth, and the life by giving Himself for us all on the cross and giving Himself to us now. May we learn from Him to give to one another our time, our compassion, our service, and above all, to give ourselves together with Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God. Let us now proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Christoph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Full of trust and confidence in the love of our Heavenly Father, we pray to him in the words of Jesus. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen lord jesus you said to our apostles i leave you peace my peace i give you look not on our many sins but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever Friends, brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. We offer one another Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
our prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion antiphone. Christ, our Lord, was handed over for our transgressions and was raised again for our justification. Alleluia. Let us pray. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, He who sees Jesus sees you. May the people around us see the Father in heaven and the Son when we become to one another the way to hope, justice, and love, the truth that uplifts and reassures, the life that is not afraid of committing ourselves even when the cost is high. May you thus become to all with and through Jesus the way, the truth, and the life forever and ever. Amen. Maraming pong salamat sa inyong pakikiisa sa ating banal na misa ngayong araw na ito. Brother Moises Evangelista, maraming salamat sa laging pagtulong. Bra Sister Mildred Heron, my prayer partner for today, thank you so much. Um, Sister Emmy Alcaide and husband Brother Lito for the first reading. And Brother Dave Mirasol and Sister Wife Judy for the prayers of the faithful. Maraming pong salamat. Kita-kita po tayo bukas ulit. The Lord be with you. May the good and loving Lord bless you always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in one another. Thanks be to God.